Hello everyone, welcome to the Salesforce CPQ video series. Today we will cover twin fields and special fields. My name is Prashant Nambishan. I have over 17 years of work experience, most of which has been in the salesforce.com space. Currently, I'm a practice lead at USD Global for salesforce.com. I hold 15 salesforce.com cert certifications, including application architect and CPQ specialist. I'm also a trailblazer mentor, and here are given my social media handles for Twitter and LinkedIn. In today's session, we will cover twin fields, what they are and some considerations while creating twin fields. We will also walk through what the object and configurator mappings are in relation to twin fields. And we will have an introduction to special fields in Salesforce CPQ. Salesforce CPQ can pass values of custom fields from one object to another object based on certain criteria automatically. This feature is called twin fields. Now, as an example, let's say as a sales rep, you are selling internet subscription to a, a customer. Now on the quote line, you have the internet subscription service, but you've also captured the service address on the quote line. When you convert this particular quote, and it becomes a subscription, you want that service address to be copied over to the subscription record as well. Now, typically you would use like a formula field or a process builder to update this. However, with twin fields, that is not required. There is no need for a formula field or a workflow or a process builder or any other form of automation. Salesforce CPQ has an inbuilt feature where certain values can be passed between one object to another automatically. The most important thing to note is that the values pass if the custom fields have exactly matching field types and API names. There are a few other key points to note here. When you're creating the fields, there should be minimum read access on the source field and a minimum of edit access on the target field. Also, this works only for custom fields. Standard fields cannot be mapped. The third point to note is that the twin fields are populated only upon record creation. There's also a minor thing to take note of is if you mark a bundle as a favorite and when you add the favorite to a quote line editor, it does not capture twin field values. And finally, and most importantly, twin fields only map between specific objects. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the org and look at an example of how twin field works. And then we will go through the listing of the objects between which twin fields map. Now let us look at twin fields in action in our Salesforce CPQ org. In this example, we will look to pass data between a field in product to a field in code line. Here I have created a field called hardware type on the product object. So you'll see it's on the product object. The field's API name is hardware underscore type underscore underscore C. It is of a pick list data type. And I have added some pick list values. Now going on to the quote line object, I have done exactly the same. So on the quote line object, similarly I have created a field called hardware type with the same API name. It is also a pick list type field. And I have also added the same values. For this example, I'm looking at this particular product called Smart US Power Strip, where I have set this value to smart devices in the hardware type field I have created. Now let us see how this will work when we are creating a quote and how this value on the product gets mapped to the quote line. So I'm going to go to a quote and add this particular product. And for demo purposes, I will just simply save the quote with that particular quote line added. So you can see the quote line is here. Let us look at the quote line record. Again, it's related to the same product, but if you scroll down, 
you'll see that the hardware type field has been automatically updated without the use of any formula field or process builder and so on. Salesforce CPQ has identified these as twin fields and passed the data along. This table is a snapshot from the Salesforce documentation uh, where you have mapping between the source object and the target object for twin fields in Salesforce CPQ. So column one is where you have the source data captured and column two is the object where the field gets updated as a target object. So like in the example we show, showed, uh, we had created a field on product and it actually got populated in quote line. You'll see that there are many other examples here. One of the key features or places you can use twin fields is on quote line, which maps to multiple different aspects or different objects in Salesforce CPQ. Another aspect of twin fields is how it maps within the bundle configurator. Now configuration attributes and product options map natively to quote line using twin fields. Another point to note is that when you open the configurator to reconfigure a bundle, Salesforce CPQ sets the product, product option and configuration attribute values based on the matching field values from the related code lines. So it pulls those values and sets them as well. Salesforce CPQ also offers some specific special fields which you can use. Now, these are very specific custom fields to be created on specific objects within Salesforce CPQ. When you create them, Salesforce CPQ will recognize them based on the exactly defined API name and it will perform a specific action or enable a specific function. There is a laundry listing of all these special fields which are being used. You will see them being referenced in number of videos which you go through when we create these uh, special fields and enable specific functions within Salesforce CPQ. I've just taken a snapshot of a part of that list, but definitely it is worthwhile to go through the detailed documentation to understand all these advanced features which you can enable in Salesforce CPQ. Thank you so much for listening to our session on twin fields and special fields. I hope you found the session informative. I would also like to thank Apex Hours for allowing us to host this session.